I'd like to start by thanking you all for this opportunity to respond to some recent questions concerning my personal life. As you all know, I am just your average Susie Sixpack. I still drive a minivan, shop at the local mall, and buy all of my exercise equipment via infomercial. And I, just like you, put on my crotchless edible panties one leg at a time. Recently, there's been some accusations you let the wolves run wild. But if one of them's snooping around your house, you better err with a side of caution. That's an interesting question, which I can only answer on my terms. And for me, that means calmly asking myself in my head if I did, and then answering secretly, but truthfully. Here goes. Very therapeutic. Now off to the next question. Did I engage in a frenzied three-way with Soviet so Many of life's questions, that just can't be answered with a simple yes or no. And I have to also say yes to allowing our country to slip into a great depression that I don't know that we could get out of. So let's just be honest with ourselves and ask us what this is really about. It's about shoring up the economy, creating new jobs, and shoring up those jobs so they can filter back into the economy that we just created, being the entire shoring process. It's about change. The kind of change that affects things and causes them to morph into something different, something magical. But not like Doug Henning's magic from the 70s. More like a cross between David Blaine's magic. In other words, you won't see this humble governor from Alaska hanging upside down for 70 hours. But what you will see is the kind of hard-hitting policy that will allow an ordinary cigarette to pass through the center of a quarter. I hope I've cleared things up for the American people. I am looking forward to 12 years at the White House. Thank you so much and God bless America.